What's going on guys? Apex Gamer 2020 here coming at you with a new um series in our YouTube channel. Now, this is going to be an old 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 game. You guys probably recommend uh, recognize this, uh, Resident Evil 0, one of the first Resident Evils ever created. Um that is because we are going to be doing a let's play of Resident Evil, the entire franchise from the very first game, which I believe was this one, all the way up to where we're at now with Resident Evil Village. So this is going to be a very interesting experience uh, for me and you guys. Now I'm going to be doing this on the easiest difficulty because really we're just trying to get through the franchise um, and that kind of stuff. So we're not really focused on creating any achievements or making a ch big challenge for ourselves. We're just kind of going to go through the story nice and easy. Um, Resident so let's get this started, guys. Zero. Now we're going to do all these options here. Now the reason I haven't been on YouTube in a while is really because the computer, my computer has been all messed up with all this LSPDFR stuff. I still don't have LSPDFR working right, right now. I'm in the process of getting it fixed, but until then guys, we will be doing this and some other stuff on here on YouTube. So without further ado guys, let's get right into this video and go ahead and enjoy this cutscene and I'll be back with you when it's over. A Midwestern town in America. Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. I think so too. Yeah. Do about it. Hold off for a while. I wonder how those are people react to this. investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Transportation. Prisoner Billy Cullen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoners to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. The 
those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. Alrighty guys, so now we are officially on this train. We gotta figure out where we're gonna go, so we're gonna head out this direction. And this character, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just getting over being sick. Um, so this character we're playing as is Rebecca Chambers. I don't exactly remember a whole lot about her, but if it's important, we'll learn about it. Alright, so moving on. In this game, there's usually like hidden stuff all kind of... In here, all these um, subtitles I left on as well for those who are hard of hearing or you know deaf. This way they can get kind of enjoyment out of this as well. They won't be able to hear me talk, but we'll be able to kind of get a idea for what's going on in the game. And it doesn't seem to be anything in here. So, all right, so let's stop wasting some time. Let's go in here. All right, so the door to the dining car is locked. You can't get in. Okay, let's move out this way then. Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo team, please identify yourself. Is someone there? Just gonna keep right on moving here. Now I'm wondering at this point what the rest of the team is doing. I right, got a broken window here. You getting any one of these rooms? All right, so room 202. Let's see what's here. Anything in here? No. Oh, look at that hanging around. We'll need those. Oh, how do I open my inventory? Okay, that's how we do it. Oh, I got plenty of them. Okay, cool. And this looks like a first aid spray, so we'll grab that. Alright, I think that's everything. Now, I'm not going to go through and read all these dialogue things. I can pick this up. There we go. But I will uh, turn the pages so you guys can uh, read them if you so, if you so choose. You guys can pause the video. Give you guys plenty of time to uh, read through this stuff. Mm-hmm. 
there's so much of these to read, guys. I just don't want to go through and read every little bit of it, you know. Okay, and we're moving forward now. Now, I will say the one thing that irritates me about Resident Evil games is, you know, you can get anywhere and these doors are always locked. Most doors are always locked. There's always a, something specific you have to do. Oh, right, more hand rounds. Oh, there's a herb. Alright, we'll take that herb. And we will take the second bullets. And we'll go ahead and flip through this really quick. kind of start this before I decided to film the last play, so we're just going to go right and start right from, the, right from the beginning, guys. There we go. And we're moving on. Now, I may do have to do some looking up and some uh, YouTubing, as I don't 100% remember how this game progresses, or the puzzles and all that good stuff. And again, for the sake of time, I don't want to keep you guys, you know, trying to figure everything out with me. Alright, so the door reads conductor's office. We can't get in there. This guy has a key, I believe. Alright, so he's got the train key. Now we take that train key and go somewhere else with it. Now we can't get into this other door to the right of us. I'll let you guys watch this cutscene. Billy, Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Edward! Are you alright? What happened? It's worse than... We can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. is full of zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters? Uh, uh. <laughs> All right, I saw our first one the dog. Oh. Dude, that I like to see what I'm shooting at. My music stops, which means the dog is dead. That's good news. Did you leave anything for us? Oh, he's holding something. Okay. Oh, hand your ball. Right on. Thanks, buddy. Sorry about your bad luck, though. Alright, moving on. Let's go figure out what this train key goes to. I'm sure it comes down to something back here. I thought I saw a staircase back here somewhere. Oh, God. Damn. All right, so I've got two, uh, two balls of kill a zombie. All right, and up here we 
go. Alright, so let's grab this herb here. Oh, I don't want to grab that. Oh, I can't carry it. Okay, so... Let's see what we can do about that. Do I have any space for anything? Not really. Right, so we'll just kind of leave it here and note, note that it's there later on. Oh, what does all this do? Okay, so we can't go back to anywhere this way. So let's go back down these stairs. And let's kind of retrace our steps until we find a door that it, uh, that key opens. We also can't open up our map. So we know that... The save room was back this way, right? And we tried going through these doors here. This is the conductor's office, and there's that other um, room that requires the key card. And that's where that guy was, and we got the key here. And then, you know, Edward's situation here. We fought the dog in this hallway, and we ran back this way. We just went up and down these stairs here, so we gotta keep going this way, and it probably unlocks this door right here. So let's keep on going. Using the map to your advantage can really be beneficial in Resident Evil games. Oh, cutscene. This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. forward now and now we know that the captain guy there is Enrico. He's got the oh he's got zombie. We try to take him down. We go outside here. And it's locked. Here we go guys, there's the train key. Alright, so we can throw the train key away. Now we can go back and go ahead and earn, right? He got a lot of ammo and health on him. I'm doing alright. Okay, another cutscene. It's gonna be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Alright guys, and we are moving up to the stairs now. Get the mouse thing out of the way, huh? Alright, here we go. What do we got? Get some of them bolts. Always helpful. Of course now it's locked. Excuse me, sir. Sir.
I'm not the figure who that is. Who is that guy? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. Alright, but you just remember I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call, all right? for the first en engine car. Stuck in the keyhole. It's preventing the door now from turning. We could probably get it if you had something sharp. Okay, do you have anything sharp?
think he goes through the door with the power on it. As a matter of fact, I think I might have to send him up that train key. Or send him down the train key. So he can open the door or something. Now by send up, I mean there's that square box there with a the light on it. And I do remember from a long, long time ago in my youth, when I played this game for the first time, that uh, there's a section where you have to send an item up to up to the Whoever stuck it down there, I'm gonna go this way. Right here. Alright, so. I think. Box from the other side. So I think I just said we need to send her up the knife. The item's too large. Um, so that's not going to work. Alright, so let's do this. Let's go back up the stairs. Up here. We'll try that one door that's locked right there. This one over here. Locked on the other side still. Alright. So that's all the way up the front of the train where she's stuck. So let's see if we can't walk the, up to the front of the train and get to a door that she might be stuck into. The front of the train would be somewhere this way. Those two doors up here are locked, so we need to figure out if we can get them unlocked. She might be stuck in this one here. So let's go ahead and take a run down this way. Oh god, zombie. Alrighty. Well, let's see what we can get to here. I'm trying to go from there. Now the other theory is she might be stuck up. No, wait, that's the other one that she, she was stuck in. And that we couldn't get into before, rather. Alright, so now she should be back in here with the, where we fought the dog. Those two rooms are kind of useless. Yeah, there's Edward. And there's this conductor's office, which we can't get into. Alright, so now we're going to try to... Oh, wait, we can't open the door. Do you have the right card? Okay, so... We can't open up any of these. So this is where I may have to look something up, because we've already checked out the whole train, right? But then again, we got attacked by a bunch of bugs. So now let's go up that other staircase there and see if those bugs from that staircase were cleared out. So we can maybe try to get in that door. Right up here. Bugs are still there. I'm going to grab this herb for him. So we still can't get him anywhere over here. I don't see any other windows we can jump out of. But we're stuck. Wait, hold on. What's this? A broken ladder. It's of no use right now. Okay, so we can't go out that way. That sucks. Yeah, again, they're not leaving us really much in the way of options here, so... We already know that we cleared this whole half of the train right here, right? So now we got to figure out what on this half of the train that we can do to try to get Rebecca out of that nightmare hole that she's in. You can't send the knife up because it's too large. 
So I'm wondering if the key that she has will be sufficient to, to stick through that hole there, but that's about the only other option because this guy can't help her, so she's gonna have to find a way to send something down to him that she has, like the train key. But we can't get to the door that she's stuck in. Let's read this and see if it doesn't say anything. I'm just supervisor, no, this is not gonna help us. You guys can feel free to read this if you'd like. Try to use the key on the door herself. Okay, so I don't have anything sharp, right? So actually, let's do this. She's not stuck in the freight car, though. Oh. So let's uh, see if we can. Oh, crap, that's not the button I wanted. Let's see if we can just use a knife on it real quick. Let's see if we can just... Okay, so we can't do it that way. Obviously I have to use this lift for some reason, right? Because I have to turn him down the key or turn him up the key or whatever the case. She can't use the key anyway, but he might be able to get to a locked door that can use that key. So now I'll switch to him. And then over here to this little lift. Oh my god, I keep pushing the wrong bar. I'm so used to Y opening the inventory. The buttons are really bad. Change it around. Alright, so let's go ahead and get him this key. Back to the locked doors and see if we can't open them up. Let's open up the map and see where we gotta go. So we know that the door behind us is locked from the other side, but let's try the key on the train car. Okay, so nothing. However, the other two doors still don't help us, so let's see if we can go up here and use it on this locked door. up here which does us no good. So if this key doesn't open any doors guys we're gonna have to uh, do some looking up and figure out where we go from here. Succeeded my uh, process of elimination. Can we open this door? Alright, so we can't open that door because the train is moving. Do we have door back here? Yeah, okay, so that's just another outside door. The only thing I could think of is it opens up the conductor's office. We obviously can't use the door. That's up there. So it leaves us all two options for locked doors. There's not very many options for doors. What about this guy here? Train's out of control, it's too dangerous to go outside. Right, same thing on this side. Okay. Let's 
now we can open up this door right here. These two doors were already unlocked, and we're gonna run past them and head out this way. If anything, I should hopefully open up this door. There we go, guys. It opens up the uh, conductor's office. So we can throw that key away, and we're gonna open it up here. So now there should be something sharp in here to get Rebecca out. Alright, so this is a map. This is key now. Okay, that's helpful. We're not done with that ladder yet. Is there anything in here we can use? Take the briefcase. Yeah, let's take the briefcase. No, from the conductor. So this is the other half of the other paper. Okay, so that goes to the conductor's office. Or the driver's compartment, rather. Okay, so now these two herbs here can be combined, and they'll act as a first aid spray, essentially. So we're gonna grab both of these. Oh, I can't carry it. Damn. Alright, so here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to waste an herb. And I should have picked up the red herb for actually hold on. Let's see. Well, this is gonna have an item anyway, so we're gonna examine this. Here's to be two locked. Doing appears to be locked with two holes that look as if something new. okay, round object. So we have to carry that with us, so we're gonna have to just I don't know, use one of these. Trust me, it'll be worth it in the long run once we pick up this red herb here. So now we're going to use them to combine those because they act as the first day spray. Oh, he can't do that though. She's got to. So let's figure out how to trade items. Alright, so we're going to climb off this ladder and see where it takes us. Because we may have to get rid of uh, an herb anyway when we have to pick up whatever we have to pick up that sharp. Rebecca is stuck in this door way down Oh, or not. Oh boy, what herbs, what is this? There we go, that's what she needs. That's what I gotta send back up to her. So we know where two more herbs are, so we're just gonna kinda have to We're gonna have to leave the herb here. Oh good, I can pick it back up later. Excellent. So we'll take the ice pick. Now we're gonna go this way so we can't get her out of there. Can't go that way. What is this room? Okay, excellent. Shotgun or rifle or something. Wow, I don't know. That's a nice gun. So we're under shot then. Alright, so we're kind of screwed at the items we can carry here. So we're going to come back to this room, definitely. I don't know what this does in here. He does need some more hanging balls. She's got plenty. back out here and we're gonna run this ice pack all the way back out to where we have to get her out of there in fact I couldn't remember her damn name I knew I could leave the arrow would have left the other green one rather than just use it and waste it but you know learning experience alrighty guys let's keep running oh boy
Oh, I killed it. Right on. I was a little concerned about that. It'll have a lot of ammo. Oh god, what is this now? Alright guys, we're gonna have to leave something up here. <coughs> Biggest priority, guys, is to get this ice pick to um, Rebecca. And then we're going to get the gay card from <laughs> that door over there. I do apologize if I end up with a coffee fit here, guys. I, uh, I've been sick for like the last two and a half, three weeks. Doesn't seem to be going away, which is kind of irritating. Alright, and we're moving on. No zombies to fight, which is great. Right there. You have with me? Yeah, let's try this, guys. I have some kind of tool. Can I just click on these right here? Yeah, there we go. I don't see why you couldn't have done that by hand, but okay. We're not going to enter the crawl space just yet. We're going to go ahead and send this up to her. There we go. We can free up a couple of slots. Send that right up to her. How he know how he knew that she needed something sharp is beyond me, but you know, I'll we'll just leave that to the old Resident Evil game logic. Alright, so we're gonna pop this open. So it doesn't cue me, I actually have to go up the door and use itself. It doesn't pop me yet to do it. Boom. So now I'm stuck now. Perfect. Aha, so this is one that door. I was wondering, oh, more zombies. More room, or is that it? Right, that appears to be it. Okay, let's go back in here and grab that first aid spray. Now we don't need the ice pick. Slashes she has open. <laughs> okay, great. Plenty of hand handles. If I give the shotgun to the other guy, and I can't remember his damn name either. Cohen, I believe it is. Alright. And now we should be reunited. Bam, there we go. 
Alrighty guys, so this is your RV United and everything. We will uh, go ahead and end this video here. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next Resident Evil video. Peace out. Take care.